The day has finally come. People have learned to put aside their differences, and now people are making informed decisions and educating themselves about the games that they play, deciding whether or not the content within them is something that would appeal to them. Finally, all my hard work has paid off. Now time to take a load off this old tail. <sighs> Retirement. What the fuck is that? Woo! Pop, 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 pop. Looks like it's time for another gaming seahorse. You couldn't leave it alone for a year. Well, time to dust off the old glasses and get back to work. It's no secret that your boy girl, the gaming seahorse, is a big fan of Japanese games. Now that doesn't mean I play everything that comes out to the West. I'm just an avid supporter of getting any game to come out to as many people as possible. Especially games from different cultures than your own. The more exposure to different things, the better. Variety is the spice of life. But due to today's news, the only spice in my life is salt. So I saw the announcement that PQ put out. Omega Labyrinth Z, cancelled in the West. Hmm, why could a game be cancelled in this day and age? Did they not have enough money to publish it? Did they not have enough interest in the title? Did the ESRB interfere and prevent the game from being rated? All reasons that are not typically unheard of when it comes to localization. Let's read further and find out together. P-Cube strives to release Japanese content for its fans as close to the source material as possible. Damn, I wish that was a policy that other Japanese localizers would have. <laughs> NIS America. In the case of Omega Labyrinth Z, while P-Cube has worked with all relevant age rating bodies in their respective territories, P-Cube must respectfully comply with the wishes of the platform holder and have, therefore, withdrawn any future plans for Omega Labyrinth Z's European and North American release on PS4 and PS Vita. Now this news is a little unsettling to me. Are you telling me that the Vita just lost 50% of its 2018 lineup? How dare they? All right, let's unpack this statement here. So P-Cube apparently has worked with all relevant age rating bodies. So that implies they've reached out to the ESRB and other rating companies, and that wasn't the issue. And this evidence is further reinforced by going to the ESRB's website and seeing that Omega Labyrinth Z was in fact rated for the PlayStation 4. It received an M rating, not the dreaded AO. So what's so bad about the game? I mean, what's the big deal? Oh, dim titties is the big deal. Okay, so the game must be really bad. It must have nudity and full-on fucking, graphic blood, gore, possibly rape imagery. It's gotta have something terrible going on in there for it to be banned by the platform holder. So let me just go to the trusted source of all video game ratings, the standards by which all video games are rated and released in the West, the ESRB. Content descriptors, fantasy violence, partial nudity, sexual content. Okay, fantasy violence, the same kind of violence that's found within a Harry Potter game. That can't be bad. Partial nudity. Partial nudity could mean a lot of things. Under boob, butt cheek, midriff, but never any nipple, bush, or butthole. Just stuff that you could see in a swimsuit. Or look at any of those wrestling games. They're pretty much 75% nude there. I would go as to say that's the majority nudity, minus a little donger there. Sexual content is such a vague term as it is. Like, what could that mean? Is there implied sex, actual sex, sexual imagery? Somebody had sex off screen? There's always somebody having sex off screen in real life. You just don't get to look at it. If I were going to ban a game, I'd need something a little more substantial to go off of. Well, thankfully, they've provided a summary to their rating. Rating summary. This is a role-playing game in which players help an adventurer 
on a quest to increase her chest size. Okay, you have my attention now. As players explore labyrinthian dungeons, they use swords to kill enemy creatures, e.g. ghouls, goblins, monkeys, in melee-style combat. Characters are depicted slashing enemies to drain their life meter. Yeah, that seems pretty typical. The game contains sexual material and partial nudity. Alright, let's get to the specifics. One interactive minigame requires players to tap heart icons located on female characters' body parts, e.g. breasts, buttocks, thighs. <laughs> Tap on them titties. During these sequences, characters make sexual moaning sounds and are depicted in revealing outfits, e.g. deep cleavage, partially exposed buttocks. <laughs> Was this written by Forrest Gump? Provocative poses, legs spread, buttocks protruding near the screen, characters restrained, and suggestive situations, e.g. a nude woman covered in dessert, desert items? In frosting. I believe they meant dessert items in frosting. <laughs> desert items! <laughs> Yeah, she's wearing King Tut's hat and whipped cream. Successful completion of the minigame results in the characters losing most of their clothing, revealing partially nude bodies obscured by objects, effects, e.g. light, water splashes, rose petals. Oh, how sweet. In another minigame, players are required to fondle a woman's chest to stimulate the growth of a crystal rod found between her breasts. <laughs> Oh my god, is that how it works in real life? Can somebody verify F for a friend? Some gallery images also depict female characters bathing nude, though their breasts and groin area are obscured by steam. God, was this banned for blue balls? Alright, now I gotta process all this. So you play as a girl who wants to grow her titties. Along the way, she travels through dungeons, and the bigger her titties are, the stronger she becomes, because you rubbed her boobs, which grew this crystal rod, which is the source of her power, and there's absolutely no nudity, just partial nudity. You can't see anything, it's all obscured. There's no gore, there's no blood, and there's not even any swear words that they notice, goddammit. So I'm at a loss for words here. Seems like a standard run-of-the-mill Japanese dungeon crawler that's heavy on the fan service. I'm not sure why this game in particular was barred from release when there's high-profile games with even more questionable content being produced and published by Sony themselves. They have no problem when it comes to putting out a game that depicts child abuse and child murder. It's all over now. Daddy isn't angry anymore. Them David Cage dollars all spend the same. It don't matter. Is it because it's a game that depicts a girl who isn't satisfied with her body and decides to augment it in ways that are not satisfactory to your perception of what's okay? Am I detecting some sort of bias about a fictional character's right to choose? Look, the game may be a little shameless and fan y They weren't trying to hide anything with Omega Labyrinth Z. They went through all the proper channels. And now consumers are left with one less choice in the West. Welcome to the world of Western Double Standards, where gore equals green and boobs equal banned. Maybe I'm just looking at this issue from a surface level point of view. Maybe there's something deeper to this matter. Like maybe perhaps it's not Sony who's pulling the strings behind this decision. There's only one evil organization that I can think of to pull off something so evil, so dastardly, so unfair to the Vita. Can't the guy catch a break? One shadowy organization that I can think of that would take their collective resentment and cast it upon Omega Labyrinth Z and take immediate action to get it banned in the West. The Itty Bitty Titty Committee. So you said.